All right, this is an update on our off-grid vertical hydroponic growth towers that we have. We built three of them. This is not sponsored by Firehouse Subs, but some of y'all pointed me their way and said that they had their buckets with the lids for $3. And that's just awesome because these over here were $8 and the lid was three and a half, so about 12 bucks for that. This one over here was $3 and the proceeds go to their nonprofit. So like we said, win-win situation. So I got some of those, I set those up, that's awesome. And I just want to let you know that it's been going about a week and I couldn't be happier. It's uh, when we were talking about putting one of these together, if you haven't checked out like the other video, go check that out. And we kind of discussed how we designed it and why. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go over it really quick here. And uh, we love it because when we built our first grow tower, where we put the pump in there and we had it going up and, and we had to drill all these holes and we had water you know flowing back down and recirculating it and I, I wanted to build a lot more of them because I was so happy with it so I was thinking of how many pumps I was going to get and all the tubing and the uh, risers and the, the sprinkler heads and and bolts to put it together and, and all the time you know it took me about you know a few hours to put one together this right here I drilled three of these out in 20 minutes you know so it takes no time you can build you a tower if you make it three high like ours it was three bucks three bucks nine dollars plus a dollar for a pool noodle and you're talking about like ten bucks in 20 minutes of your time you can have a vertical off-grid hydroponic grow tower once you learn how to do one of these since it's not all connected since this is self-contained each one self-contained once you learn how to do this right here you can make a bunch of them right you can even just go get one if you only find one of these build this get it growing out the next time they have one get another one take you five or ten minutes to drill some holes put some nutrients in pop it on top you've got another one so you can do this in sections it can be like modular you can move it around you can spin them if you want but basically all we did was drilled out two inch holes and they're four inches on center now i did that because I used my downspouts and I love that system and, and I've done those two inches on center in the downspouts for years and, and it worked so I was like you know might as well do it the same on here right now I don't want you guys to maybe not get any closer you can go farther apart now this one gives us eight holes and we're going to grow in seven I'll explain that in a second but if you want to you can just put one in the front two on the side and, and you know space them out a lot farther what I wouldn't do is go closer. Like I said, you know, this is getting three and a half gallons on top of it, then three and a half gallons on top of that. So you don't want to make this look like Swiss cheese and just stack this up to heaven and, and have it tip over in your house or anything, right? So I wouldn't go any closer, but you can go farther apart. You can put less holes if you want. Right now I've got eight holes drilled. We're going to be growing in seven of them. And the last hole, what we're going to do is We've got the one here. If you've got a lot of sun and you're going to be growing and you want plant all the way around it, maybe this is sitting in the middle of your garden, then you can go ahead and drill another hole here and you have nine spots. But I'm going to have mine pushed up against the wall and the sun's going to be coming around on this side of it. I know this won't never get sun unless I come out there every day and I'm like spinning it all the time and I don't want to do that. So this side's going to be up against the house. If we ever do put aeration, we'll run the two back there. It'll be on the side where the wall's at. You won't never see it. Then we're going to take one of these holes that are in the back, get one of our pool noodles, put a little wedge in it, right? And then just come in there and pop it in there. And people are always asking, how do you fill it up? And that's where we're going to be filling it up. When we had the other tower before, I used to just pour it in the top and it would drizzle down through it, right? Now each one of these is self-contained, so all we're going to do is come in here, pop that off, refill it, and pop that back on. You just need a little funnel, uh, or I'd just cut a bottle in half like a Coke bottle and put it in there and just use that as a funnel. When you fill this up with nutrients and you put your plants in here, you don't want this to go all the way down and fill it all the way back up. Some of you are making that mistake. You're letting it just drain down and you're refilling it, 
or you're just emptying it out and, and putting fresh in, your plants don't like that change that much. If you can just maintain a level in here, your plants will love you a lot better. The less change, the better. We drilled out these holes while we did that. We also went ahead and drilled little holes for ventilation here. You don't have to do that. That's just what I'm trying out. And somebody had asked me, I think I posted this on TikTok, but they asked me about bugs and mosquitoes getting in there. And if that bothers you or it's a problem where you live, just go ahead and hot glue a little piece of screen or, or a pantyhose, a uh, little piece of pantyhose and that on there. And then that way it lets air in and out and you don't have to worry about the bugs getting in. So I think that's awesome. That's basically it. Two inch holes, four inches on center. Leave you one to refill with. You got one air hole back here if you want to go ahead and add a little aeration. But basically you can do that. Like I said, I built one tower. I did three of these in less than 20 minutes. So 20 minutes of your time, 10 bucks if you can get these at Home Depot. Not Home Depot. If you can get them at Firehouse. If not, it'll be about 40 bucks, you know, to build one three high. Um, this was awesome. You know, we, you guys are probably familiar with these. You know, we used to do like that, right? And obviously no holes and put the plant and that was awesome setup you know we, we lots of you and we, we've grown like that for years but when you had to plant in here you couldn't go up right that was it and you had a bunch of these sitting around now with the top here and us being able to grow in the side you know it's a lot it's, it's like it's going backwards like we built the garden tower we had pumps and everything going you know sometimes we just kind of go backwards and, and make it a little simpler so I'm excited about this it's easy to build it takes like no time at all and you can take it and just stack them up and before you know it you're going to be doing vertical gardening and, and having loads of food in just one square foot of your garden so we're going to be doing lots of stuff like that this um, any buckets that I can get my hand on um, I'm going to be building more of these we we're thinking of different things you know if you don't want a big five gallon bucket if you just got a small space this was from the dollar dollar 25 store and what do you call it we used to get these and like drill a hole in the top put a plant right a little cracky set set up but now we're thinking since we did like that why can't we drill a hole in the front or drill two holes you know have two little plants and then take them and stack them up like that and just go up with those so we're going to be trying experimenting with all different things you know if this isn't stable got a little pipe hanger you know from our uh, steampunk stuff back here we can just take that and silicon that in between so that we can just run a pipe and just screw those onto the pipe clamp them on that'll hold so all kinds of ideas you guys stick around we're gonna be talking about this we'll see if we get a lot of algae people are going you have to you have to cover it or you have to paint it and our milk jugs that you see going up the wall they said the same thing about that you know oh you you have to paint it and I just left it. You're going to get algae. And I did. I got algae. Um, but we still got a lot of pak choy. And we grew kale. And we grew curly kale. And we grew uh, uh, dino kale. So uh, it's empty right now. We're going to grow something else. So, you know, I don't sweat all of that stuff. I don't want you all to. Lots of people ask about, you know, what can you grow in it? You know, we're, we're showing a lot of greens. I'm going to show a lot of greens on this channel because we're dedicated to getting people started. And we don't teach kids in kindergarten calculus or algebra and trigonometry and stuff right they learn addition subtraction multiplication division and the teacher drills it into your head and that's why she did you know what seven times seven what seven times eight what seven times nine right so that that would come second nature to you because once you got up to the other uh, grades if you didn't know how to do that you want to be able to do your algebra and trig and everything so you had to know how to do the basics so this is your training wheels and I want people to do this to master it and have fun with it and do it to where it comes second nature then you try the other things I've, I've been doing this for years and teaching people and I see a lot of people jump in they get excited first thing they want to do is grow tomatoes and they try it they fail they go this doesn't work and they quit and that breaks my heart because it's it's an easy system to do you just have to do it the right way and that's what our course teaches I got a link down below. We've got the online course and, and the ebook, and we get people started in the right direction. You learn the basics, and then you can move on to other things. 
uh, my course is not going to go in and teach you how to grow a tomato right off the bat. You have to know the basics. And once you master that, then you open up the possibilities to all kind of other things. So um, you got to have a mission and you got to stick to it. So I've, I've taken a lot of heat you know, over the years from people for uh, not using meters, for not checking my pH, not checking the EC levels for have an algae grow and stuff you know I, I take a lot of heat but we've got a lot of people growing food that never would have tried before and if you guys go through the comments and everything that's what it, it's like my oxygen i just i read the comments and i see people going i've always heard about this but i was afraid to try it i i was apprehensive i thought it was too tough or it cost too much money and you make it seem so easy and then the people who are like give me comments going we tried it it works. It's fun. We're showing our family how to do it. We're making containers for our friends. You know, it, it just goes on from there. And people are even teaching classes on it and showing other people. So that's what we're about. This is a movement. It's not about me doing something and trying to get a bunch of views. It's it's about us teaching the world how to feed itself. And you guys are doing a fantastic job. We're going to just have loads of fun with this over this year. It, it, I'm more excited about this than when I first started and um i hope you guys are too so share it up lift inspire keep on growing be the change go build one of these and grow you some food all right we'll catch you next time